Hi, I'm a DocuSign University trainer. Today, I'll be showing you how to include supplemental documents on your envelopes or templates. With supplemental documents, you can send additional documents that need to be reviewed or acknowledged by your recipients. For example, maybe you need to send account policies that need to be read alongside your main contract for signature. Supplemental documents cannot have fields applied to them in the same way that a normal document can. Instead, a sender can choose the required recipient behavior for a supplemental document. The options for behavior include no required behavior, view only, accept only, view and accept, or read and accept. We'll discuss these behavior options a little bit later. To add a supplemental document to an envelope or a template, simply upload the document into DocuSign and click the ellipses icon set as supplement. You can upload multiple supplemental documents if necessary and use the drag and drop functionality to rearrange the order of the documents per your preferences. In this scenario, I will send an NDA out for signature. I will include two supplemental documents, a terms and conditions and an account policies document. I've added two recipients, a disclosing party and a receiving party and I've adjusted the messaging. On the next page, you'll see the supplemental documents appear as a strip. We cannot add fields to the supplemental document. Instead, when we click on the supplemental document, we can change the required behavior for the recipient. You can customize the required behavior for each recipient individually. Right now, I'm looking at the required behavior for the disclosing party. However, if I switch in the top left to the receiving party and click back on the supplement, I can customize the behavior for that recipient. The behavior options are as follows. None, this means that the recipient can see the supplement, but they are not required to view it, accept it, or read it. View only, the recipient is required to open and view the supplement. Accept only, the recipient is required to click accept on the supplement. View and accept, the recipient must click view to open the supplement and click accept to accept it. And then finally, read and accept. The recipient must click view to open the supplement. They have to scroll to the bottom, therefore reading it. And then at the bottom, they can click accept. So let's start with the account policies. We'll say that the disclosing party only needs to view the account policies document. So I'll select for the disclosing party, view only. The receiving party, on the other hand, if I switch the recipient, and click back on the account policies, I'll say that they need to accept only for this document. Moving on to the terms and conditions, we will say that the disclosing party will need to read and accept versus the receiving party will need to view only. Now that I've set the behavior for my supplements, I'll scroll down to my main document, the non-disclosure agreement, and I'll go ahead and just add some fields for the recipients. When we're ready, we'll click send. During the signing process, the disclosing party needs to view the account policies, and then for the terms and conditions, they must read and accept. Towards the bottom, of course, they also have their signature fields on the non-disclosure agreement. If the disclosing party tries to sign and click finish before interacting with the supplements, they're going to receive an error because we have required behavior on those supplemental documents. So looking at the account policies, the disclosing party needs to click view and there is no further action. They just have to view versus for the terms and conditions, they have to click view, and they also have to click accept at the bottom, but we've set it up to read and accept, so they have to scroll down to the bottom and then the accept button becomes clickable. 
All of the interactions with the supplemental documents will be recorded within the history of the agreement. For the receiving party, when they come into the agreement, they need to accept the supplement and they need to, for the account policies, and they need to view the additional terms and conditions. So for the account policies, all they need to do is click accept. They don't even have to click into view based on how we set it up. And then for the terms and conditions, they must click view. Towards the bottom, we'll have the receiving party provide their signature and finish. It's important to note that DocuSign admins can set the default recipient behavior for supplemental documents within the admin signing settings. If none of the checkboxes are selected, there will be no default behavior set and the choice will be left up to the sender, assuming that they have permissions to use supplemental documents. Within a custom permission profile, the Allow Supplemental Documents checkbox allows the user to set documents as supplements. To allow senders to override the default behavior, select the appropriate Allow Sender to Override options. You're now ready to include supplemental documents in your DocuSign envelopes or templates.